Flamus already up quite close in the apartments, but it's going to be Banana. It's going to be the first point of contact. Yeah, above Rops, who's just below him. Could be a fray here. Rops tries to go for the jump shot. Got to admire the attempt. Xanta with the dual Berettas to take contact close towards Brick. Flash is great, but Carrigan shot even better. And Risky Bob in the open, dealt with by Frozen. There is still another player that you have to breach past, but they've already found good space and they can just overwhelm Leah at the back. Doesn't even get a chance. Frozen with two. As the bomb planted on B. Yeah, retake effort is going to be very difficult unless Faze gives them the fights. That is a laboured engagement on the dual Berettas. Like 20 bullets. <laughs> yeah, but that's fine. He's got 30 of them. Already just puts a new clip in and uh, ready to go. Worried about the flank, but that's not happening. Robs has already relocated to Banana. They forced these players into the open and they were just able to isolate every single one of these kills. Not too much damage being inflicted. Frozen's fully aware. It's very deep smoke. It's been thrown, I think, from the back of the site. Risky Bob. We're going to get involved. A lot of damage done, but no kill found. And with that, it's time to leave. They might not even be allowed that. Stuck around for too long. And they're all going to fall, save Leah, who's just got the MP9. Honestly, that's worst case scenario for the Mega. That they hung around a little bit, as you said, just to try and catch one of these players, either over aggressing or giving them an opportunity to get a kill, which would. Although this flash play could get dangerous, Frozen is pushing up in a prime position to get caught by it. I thought they, they wait too long. He's just going to be able to swing. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Hold up. The pistols are doing work. The flashbang comes over, but Rain holds his spray, finds the double, and he spotted the third player. Support comes over for Carrigan. They just need to fight past this one piece and then they're in. Carrigan's looking forward, just darting around the pillar. Somehow this P250 is surviving for far too long. You think this one might be done despite the heroics of the digs? Oh, okay, hold up, there's a chance. Low HP player dealt with. Rain needs to find this kill, but he falls. And now it's on to Rups. Flashbang over the top. Thamus repositions. How is this one falling apart with a one versus three? A P250 in his hands, and he finds all of them. Base scale long, 35 seconds left. This A-Rap has to be a resounding success. The double pit setup should be strong. Thamus with the first, looking for more, but run over by Carrigan, who swings 90 degrees for the turn, gets the follow-up. And after the heroics of the round before, Faze bouncing back in emphatic fashion, although Liz does something to say about it, Rops supports. And Khan can't give this a look in. Insane double kill. It just creates the potential. And whilst the money seems to be in jeopardy for FaZe by winning that round, they put the shoe on the other foot. And now the Mega, they have an AWP, but that's about it. I feel like Flamus is in such a powerful position to get more done. But instead, it's Carrigan. This second adjustment doesn't even let go of the spray to the B apartments. Or well, the A apartments, I should say. 5-1. Back on the guns. Back with the aggression. Xanta, home pin, but not finding. Rain and rops and rain again. And just like that, the round is basically all but over. Okay, looks like he's blind on the kill feed, but I think he had his eyes on the prize. Oh, no. He might not be done. The timing can't. He's actually able to avoid that. Rain doesn't peek around the corner, just goes up onto that little stairway. This round looking to be over before it. He even gets a chance to start, which is unfortunate for Namiga. They went for the aggressive play. Punished for it. A triple from Rain. Khan might not even be allowed to save. Rops comes around the corner. So now they know where this final player is. And the bomb immediately on its way to B. And Rain can be given permission to hunt. Like this is this is so horrible. If you're an AWPer in this position, you're trying to save your your rifle. The gun barrel's been spotted as well. Frozen calls that over, and in fact, just claims his life. No AWP saved. So now we have a half buy from Namiga. 
At least they got a lot of bodies where they need to be. And again, the deagles finding kills, but the rifle's spraying back. Rops is low, so he's forced off the line. Ricky needs to be slightly careful. He's got the bomb, he needs to get out of there. Oh, Khan with the MP9 slips through low HP, may as well go for the risky play. With Rops with barely any health left. With the, with the time remaining, potentially, that could be everything. Oh, look at this push. Oh, you know, there's a world in which FaZe could turn it on its head, but not with that dink. Lear all but locks it in. And it, again, it's this half buy. They get Namiga another round on the board, unless Robson broke your able to do something spectacular. It's not happening. Risky Bob makes sure of it. So another low buy round conversion, and it's FaZe making these mistakes. Well, Xanta also just hitting some insane shots. I guess we'll see that back on the replay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just pushing through the smoke. You can barely blame FaZe for that. They want to go for a bit more of a pacey round up yep. through short. And as soon as that's heard, Xanta just slips through, hoping to catch a timing. And that's what you got to do in these rounds, right? When you just got pistols. The lip reveals himself. The spam as well, acting as a suppressor, acting as a disruptor for Frozen to remain in the corner, but Lear clears him. Doesn't even need to see his opponent. Carrigan trades out. Once again, Faye is a full back on their A setup. Khan's here. Looking to redeem himself, but Rob's again finding success out the apartments. Khan needs to progress forward. First kill is his, but the trade immediate. Nowhere to fall back to. Risky Bob playing behind default, gets caught by the spam. That's insane. Brookie just fires one off and it catches him and that ends his round. Santa, oh. a chance perhaps. One kill is his, smoke and kit available. He's looking to try and get tricky with it. Wall bangs, but by the orb, how many wall bangs are we going to see on Inferno today? Leah's low. That was over, that was over an apps. He got the trade out on Rain. But the Orc's still alive. Three players over at B, and it looks like they want to get aggressive here, Namiga, but that's to their detriment. Brokey! Oh! It's Namiga that bite the bullets. And it's now themselves that feel uncomfortable. No way you're expecting Rops into your back lines if you're Khan, and now the bomb can be safely escorted over to A. And Brokey can just hold the line firmly. Rops can come around the corner. They know Lear is this B player. It's hard pressed to grab around unless you're on the pistols if you're Namiga, it seems. Oh, certainly you think maybe A is the play, but Ricky with the bomb heads over for a moment. A swing from Blam as the only one defending. He's found his kill. Rops doesn't swing out. And I think that kill. Yeah, that's supposed to be. It has to be B. Rops has got an open A bomb site, but they're walking into the stack. And it's the pistol finding success. Brokey is the only one here with the bomb. Fine. He can't go back. He's being overwhelmed. The pistols again for Namiga. That's just phase over complicating the matter. They're the bomb so far committed. Up B. Carrigan. As long as they don't peek, Namiga, they'll be fine. And they will get it over the line once more. Absurd that that's how their three rounds have come through. Can't buy a gun round. Maybe they can. Calm with an opener, a wild spray gets one. But an immediate trade. Brokey gets a whiff of Xanta, who's now kind of stuck. Does have support from Malia. And the smoke even coming forward, so Brokey, no chance. Although, that's one way to get a, a kill back. Just spamming through the smoke. Yeah, that's the king of spams right there. Whether it's Cave on Ancient or just a random smoke on Inferno. Rain is ever present. So too is Rops, who catches that risky bob in his lurk. Now Khan is caught between two different angles. Has to be careful about short. But in fact, it's Rain that pushes the long smoke. Because I catch off this rotation. Bomb's still not yet committed. This time, FaZe have got plenty of time to work with. Oh, well, Rain, though. It's going to miss Santa. Caught with the utility in hand. Oh. oh my god! How has Santa found that kill? Matters not. Brokey's there to close, and it's a 9 3 half for FaZe. Ran out of time and walked into the stack.
pretty much. However, oh, immediate blow for blow. And Rops has been revealed in towards Boiler. Surely they're going to hunt him. No, instead, they're going to evade. They're going to try and run up long. Rops tries to strike, doesn't get the best of them, but Brokey steps in. Another one for one until Frozen announces his arrival at Library, steps in with Rops, and that seals the deal. I'm going to try and farm up some money. Not that he will probably end up really needing the AWP, depending how this game goes. I'm sure he'll get the rounds for it. He's actually being hounded. Doesn't matter. Fighting Fine. foes from every angle. Okay, Ooh. not that angle. And a second kill came through, but Rops is here. You see, he's got it under control. You keep things calm. Keep things calm. Yeah. Fade away. Santa with the Glock left to do it all. Yeah, I didn't even. It took a second because it's it an obvious one. I think they know where he is. Oh, yeah, they do. Not up the chimney. All right. Carrigan gives him some coal. Banana. A bit of messy. Frozen wants to fight, blows the smoke over the top. It's Carrigan with the kill. Frozen not slowing down, but flashed a lot of damage done. He's stuck on the wall and run down by Khan, who doubles up. That's a lot of damage they've been inflicted. Look, Khan's Anta are just worse for wear. Uh, the MP9s can potentially turn them into mincemeat. Rain comes over. And the Soul Rifle full phase is here on this B bomb site. That's exactly where they're going to commit in. CT side, I've got a good idea of where this is going to end up. Rain has got a flash to delay. Broke, it could drop a smoke. Especially with this utility falling over. Like, surely that's the that's the activation point for phase to counter. That smoke's missed. That's gone way too deep. It's giving Rain a huge angle to fight forward. He's able to find that first kill. Broke, he's found a gap behind his smoke, but he's dropped. Rain drops two. And it comes down to a one versus one. Lamas thinks it's time to go A. Worried about Rops pushing down Banana, which is exactly what he's done. So he's found the pathway through to get a bomb plant at the very least. So as soon as the bomb goes down, well, he's got to immediately just hightail it towards A. Now finally made aware of it. Flammers tucks in. Rops is just hoping for a gun. He's got a kit. Finally will grab an M4. There's time to work with here, but in all this time in... Trying to reclaim a weapon. Where on earth has Flammus got up to? And this is the Apparently, thing. It's it's a yeah. really open plant as well. Look at it. It's like towards back default. Oh, Flammus stuck into the right side. This is scary. Doesn't matter. Hits the headshot. And Amiga win out the first gun round. Thanks to Khan opening up Banana and Flammus to close. All of the utility trying to kill these players because Frozen in particular has been really aggressive on his watch. He still is, actually. He's fighting forward quite a lot, and the whole entirety of Namiga swing in front of him. Carrigan can't do anything about it. They're in. Yes, B-side proving to be a bit of an issue for FaZe. Brokey trying to be the hero, but it's Flammer setting them alight with three in this round. So you can call that seven. The aggression punished once more down Banana. And yet they're just kind of still forcing these issues. Now, there's, this is not perfect opportunity for Namiga to hunt. They've got five alive. Oh. Flammer's not even on for the ace. If he can find rain. He's hiding in plain sight. They can't get past Khan. Aggressive Molly forward. Khan's going to be forced into the fight, and that's much better. Out of phase. That's containing players in towards the, the mouth of the bomb site and frozen. This time the aggression pays off. Just to spam through the smoke. It's a lot safer than running through all the util. And a flashbang on the floor. Carrigan's ready to drop a smoke. You've got this boost set up in place. Spotted out, but doesn't matter. Rops from up on high, gets his kill. With that smoke being dropped on B. I feel like this is only going one way. Yeah, now you just wait. You can recycle your util. You keep Namiga out. You can find phase up to 12. Unless this goes disastrously wrong. Risky Bob and Leah have to aggress through the smoke. Flash behind them to try and set them up. It, it blinds Risky Bob as he turns from it. But actually just walk straight into it. Raiden's there on the collection. Phase are up to map point. Yeah, that feels a little bit more like what you expect from FaZe. Clean across the board. 
Great opening kills from Frozen. Sets one alight and then spams through the smoke. They always had this extra element in play of the boost and Rain just pushing the smoke at the end for the nice clean double. Getting up into the apartments. They're ready for this fight to come forward. No flashbang to set up. Rops gets his kill. 20th in the map. Lear has found the entry though, and that's given some space. They're pushing in towards CT spawn. Frozen, very aware of this gap. Rob still in the apartments. Everywhere you go, it seems this man is. Frozen locking them out of spawn for a moment. The trade is there. Bomb can join up. Issue is you've still got to get past this extra B player, and you don't know where Carrigan has got to. Maybe Carrigan will come to you. Damage, no kill, but information. Four phase. Yeah, and Carrigan can just sit back now. He doesn't need to peek, but he's going to anyway. Ooh. That'll cost him his life, but it comes at an expensive cost for Khan. 37 HP between these two players to keep Namiga alive in the two on two. Yeah, swap the AWP over because Risky Bob was low HP, but now they're both at the same point. And both these CTs retaking from Banana. T's reposition, a double up in towards Ruins. The AK of Khan out in the open. Risky Bob swings through, finds his shot, and it's onto Brokey. Knows where both of them are, but no kit on his back. Time running out. Looking for at least one of these players. He's found the first. There's a kit on the floor, picks it up, sticking the defuse. Khan, is he going to swing? He is. And Brokey, he doesn't fall for it, finds the kill. And that's going to be 13 for FaZe. They take the map. Yeah, what a clutch by Brokey there. Just keeps fighting shooting his bullets just to try and invite Risky Bob to go for another peek and he lives up to his namesake. It's a risky one. They don't need to peek. They can just wait for the audio cue, but instead it's basic and it over the line. It's touch and go, to be honest. The first half was fantastic. That T-side was exemplary from FaZe, but on the CT side, it really felt rushed at points. And Namiga, they were here to play and they were able to punish when necessary.